Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. Finally, you guys and ourselves are going to get what we've been waiting for on YouTube for a long time. Titanium versus a couple slap rounds as you see down here. Well, we got some awesome piece of titanium here from TMS uh, Titanium, which we really appreciate you guys sending this out for us to shoot. This is 5 8 inch thick. What we decided to do, if you go to Edwin Sarkissian's page, he did some excellent videos with some inch and a half thick titanium. And he couldn't make it through with a 50 cal, and he couldn't make it through either with a 20 millimeter tungsten round. So we thought, okay, why get an inch and a half, shoot it. So what we decided to do is get a thinner piece and work our way up. So we started with the 5 8 inch and we're going to work our way up. If it, these rounds make it through, TMS Titanium is going to send us a 1 inch piece and we'll try it against that. So if you guys need any kind of titanium products, rods, plates, you name it, these guys got it. They're out in Southern California. I got their link down below. Anything titanium, these are the guys that you need to go to. All right, so I also want to thank uh, Moab Manufacturing. Uh, they laser engraved all these different targets for us where we're going to actually try to shoot each round at. Um, got Going Ballistic, Moab Manufacturing, TMS down at the bottom here. Beautiful, beautiful laser engraving from Moab Manufacturing. Again, if you need anything laser engraved and a bunch of other stuff, just uh, hit that link down below give Justin an email and he'll get you hooked up. So the first round we're going to do, this is the MK-263. This is the military's current armor piercing round. As you see in this picture here, the one on the right is the newer MK-263. The one on the left is the M2, which was used for many years and it was very effective. Now if you look at it, it's bigger. You can see the projectile inside is a little bigger and it also has uh, the copper jacket around it just like the M2. However, if you look at the M2, it's longer and heavier and has recessed lands that help minimize um, barrel fouling and also improve muzzle velocity on this round. So this is your go-to light armor, armor piercing round all day. All right, we're gonna go get set up for that first round. Hang tight, here we go. Ah, uh, I doubt you can see it. MK-263, ah, dropped it in the snow. Covered in snow, Widowmaker. The snow should give us some lubrication while I penetrate this titanium. All right, I'm gonna send it. Where'd you go? Ah, who cares? <laughs> Clear. All right, that was that was really cool, man. So the MK263 5 8 inch plate, not gonna help you. Want to get a close up look at this? Good shot there, Justin. Man, hit dang near dead center. I don't know if you can come over here and get anything in there. Look at that, right through it. That was a heck of a a spark show. So if you ask me, I think TMS is going to have to send us a, a one inch plate to try. All right, the next round we're going to set up and shoot is the MK211, also known as the Ralphus round. MK211 is the military's uh, nomenclature for it. Ralphus is more like for us civilians because it's made in Ralphus, Norway. So anyways, these are armor piercing incendiary high explosive they have a secondary explosion you can check out this little diagram right here of the round and you can also x-ray them like this one here if you want to know for sure that you got a real ralphus round if you got access to an x-ray machine but anyways we're gonna get this bad boy set up so stick around normally we say the best for last but I think this one's the best. Ralphus. It's in the chooch hole. I'm gonna send it, if I can find it.
guys, that was awesome. I love the Ralphus round. We knew after the uh, MK263 that the Ralphus round would punch through this. Here's the back side right here. So it's about the size of a 308 as normal. Let's check out the front. How did Justin do? Well, he made a mess and he hit right in the center. If that ain't freaking on target people, I don't know what is. She's a beaut. She's a beaut. All right. Well, now we are moving on to the slap round. All right, our next round we're gonna set up is the regular slap round. That is a Sabode light armor penetrating round which travels at about 4,000 feet per second compared to all the other rounds which travel less than 3,000 feet per second. So the slap round was developed by the Marines. Because in walks the slap round and that is our next round so hang tight. All right, I forgot. We're gonna try to see if we can capture one of the projectiles of the slap round. So we lined up these uh, four sandbags here. We'll see if they can even help stop it, but here we go. All right, this is the one I'm dreading because we had to take the brake off. I've never shot it like this. I really don't want to. I'm assuming you're gonna see the rifle or scope punch me in the face and then I'm gonna complain afterwards. A little close up for you. This little Sabo is why we had to take the brake off. I'm gonna send it. Oh, clear. That was awful. So there you go, folks. Hope that was cool on the slow motion. Blew right through this plate um, as we knew it would after, of course, the first one. Went right here, hit a little high and right. Trying to control these rounds is a little tough when you have no muzzle brake on your weapon. So that was the M903 with the uh, amber sabos on them. All right, so now we're gonna set up for the last shot here. That's the M962 slap T round. That stands for tracer. Probably not gonna see the tracer. It's a little bright out here in Colorado, but it's gonna make a flash just like the last ones did. Let's go get that last slap set up. And here we go. <sighs> now I have to endure the pain of one more slap. Hopefully this will be the last one. I don't wanna do this. Preparing to have my brain knocked around in my skull and my spine readjusted. Oh, I think I cracked my teeth. All right, that was pretty cool, man. I love that slow motion camera. I'm glad I got it. So Justin did pretty good. Hit that last round on target. Uh, those slap rounds, they're not easy to shoot. Let me tell you that that gun kicks like a mule. But I really like to thank TMS Titanium again for sending us this 5 8 inch plate. Can't wait for the one inch plate. Try that out with the same four rounds. Uh, like to thank Moab Manufacturing for all the laser engraving he did here on this plate. Don't forget to pick up your uh, Going Ballistic t-shirts. We've got the link down below. Again, thank you guys for watching and hit that subscribe button and I'll be back. Next time.